So what are these essential nutrients? Essential nutrients are a category of what is necessary for the body to function. These include minerals, vitamins, essential fatty acids, and essential amino acids. What is a mineral? First off, we are talking about the nutrient minerals, those that are necessary to perform functions necessary for life. The most important factor in this classification is that these are not man-made. They come from the earth, and for the most part, they are absorbed in the soil by plants, ingested by consumers, and transferred up the food chain and used by the next consumer. This is when the body synthesizes it to the needed form and then is disposed of or released back into the environment. The five major minerals are calcium, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, and magnesium. All of the remaining elements in the human body are called trace elements. So what is a vitamin? In a body system, certain organic compounds need to be synthesized like the minerals that we were talking about. But in some cases, that is not always possible. Enter the vitamins into the conversation. Vitamins must be absorbed in the body in the form that is needed because the body cannot synthesize it to the right form. The families are named vitamin A, B, C, D, E, and K, and are grouped that way because of the function that they perform in the body. What is an essential fatty acid? Well, if you've heard of the omega-3 or the omega-6 fatty acid, this is what is being talked about. Again, this is something that cannot be synthesized in the body, but must be consumed. This term refers to fatty acids required for biological processes to take place, but does not include the fats that only act as fuel. The only thing left now is, what is an amino acid? We are seeing a pattern here with our list. Amino acids are necessary because the body cannot make them from scratch, meaning that it has no ability to assemble them from the pieces and parts of the normal diet. The nine amino acids humans cannot synthesize are Phenylene, valine, 309, tryptophan, methionine, leucine, isoleucine, lysine, and histidine. Carbohydrates are the sugars, starches, and fibers found in fruits, grains, vegetables, and milk products. They are one of three main ways that the body obtains energy or calories and are essential for the proper body functioning and the body requires a large amount of them. Carbohydrates are classified as simple or complex. The difference between the two forms is the chemical structure and how quickly the sugar is absorbed and digested. Protein is a macronutrient that is essential to building muscle mass. Chemically, protein is composed of amino acids, which are organic compounds made up of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, or sulfur. Amino acids are the building blocks of proteins, and proteins are the building blocks of muscle mass. All food made from meat, poultry, seafood, beans, and peas, eggs, and processed soy, nuts, and seeds are considered part of the protein group, according to the USDA. Most people eat enough food in this group, but they should select leaner and more varied selections. Water. Remember that everything is made up of atoms, and an atom is the smallest particle of an element, like oxygen or hydrogen. Atoms join together to form molecules. A water molecule has three atoms, two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. That's why water is sometimes referred to as H2O. A single drop of water contains billions of water molecules. Your body uses water in its cells, organs, and tissues to help regulate its temperature and maintain other bodily functions. Because your body loses water through breathing, sweating, and digestion, it's important to rehydrate by drinking fluids and eating foods that contain water. The amount of water you need depends on a variety of factors, including the climate you live in, how physically active you are, and whether you're experiencing an illness or have any other health problems. Now with the basis understanding of what goes into our body, we can start looking at the chemical reactions.